Hey folks, this is Justin at Metcalf Mills. I've got a little video here that's kind of a thank you video for some of the things we've received from some very kind people out there. And I just want them, everyone, to know how much we appreciate it. So I'm going to be showing you some of those things on this video. I hope you enjoy it. This video is a thank you video. Now in the last few months, I've received several gifts in the mail that are very special to me. We got the box with the tinctured vanilla and the persimmons from a fella in Mississippi. Packed all it up and sent it to us. We got a gift from our friends at Renewed Homestead during the time when I lost my dad. Some really meaningful things in that box. We got a gift this week from our friends in South Carolina. We've never met any of these people, but their generosity and love has just kind of overwhelmed us. But we got a box from South Carolina this week. It had a, just a bunch of things in it for the girls and me and all good, useful stuff, and we really appreciate that. I'm not going to use anybody's name that I know their name without talking to them first. So I'm just going to say where it was from. You know who you are. You're welcome to comment in any way you like, but I want you to know we all really appreciate it. And I'm trying to think. I've had sick brain. We got some beautiful leather work from a fella. <clears throat> it's a leather, a piece of leather about this big. And it's got Metcalf Mills and a beautiful water mill uh, carved into the leather. I'll show you that later in this video. It's handmade and it's just beautiful and... I got it at a time when I was still pretty sick and in the bed. And it was on a day that I was needing to make one of my regular videos. And when I got that, it really encouraged me. And I got up and made a video. But it's just real special. Every single thing. You don't know us, but yet you send these precious gifts and, and just your kindness, we just don't, I don't have words for it. But the other day, I got a call from Tim Lale out at, that made the sorghum pan for me back in the summer. And he said, somebody's brought something out here for you. He was pretty sly in the way that he'd done it. And, uh... I didn't know what to expect. I thought it was just a box, the way he worded it, which he had to because it was a surprise, and it was a big surprise. I got out there, and he unveiled this piece. Now, you can see right here, this thing. This is the pot that I had mentioned in my sorghum pan video that I wanted Tim to build me sometime, and I've wanted him to build it for a while. We just never had got together and done it. But what he told me was, one of my subscribers contacted him and said, if we buy the material, will you build just in that pot that he was wanting you to build? And Tim said, yeah, sure I will. And he did. And you can see how beautiful this pot is. It's just absolutely beautiful. And I'll show you a close-up of this work he did on here, but... He has a pot about this same size that he built years ago, and he's loaned it to me before to make apple butter in. But this big old stainless steel pot, I don't know exactly how many gallons it is, but it's big. And what our plans is, of course you can cook anything in this thing, a big batch of anything, but one of my favorite things that I'm going to use it for is app cooking apple butter. And you'll be part of that when it happens. I don't know when. I'm so, 
got so much to do and stuff, I'm trying to be cautious about what I say when I'm going to do something because sometimes you can't help things and it kind of gets away from you. But uh, we're working on all that stuff. And it's just, I mean, it's just unbelievable how beautiful this thing is. And I hope you can see that clearly there. And it's got that same design on both sides of it. And what he done was, he overlaid copper with the stainless, and they had that cut out, Metcalf Mills, and the design, it's just, it's just beautiful. I mean, look at that. More than I ever expected. I didn't expect this. I had no idea. It's got a... Nice heavy bottom, nice heavy bottom in it. It's just, just another blessing. I don't even know who the person was that is responsible for doing that. Of course, Tim built it, and that's this is his craftsmanship, and you know, half of that's him because he done that for me. Wouldn't take a penny. He made a deal, and Tim's a man of his word, and it's just, the kindness is just, it's just unbelievable, and I want you to know I really appreciate all of you, whether you sent me a gift or not, but some of these things we've received is just unbelievably kind, and we'll treasure them always. When we get to use this pot, hopefully you'll be part of that and see what's going on. I don't know when, but sometime. And I'm really looking forward to it. This is Justin and Charlotte at Metcalf Mills with a big old stainless pot. And thanks, thanks again for everything. Bye. Tim said he didn't want to be recognized on this, so I'm not going to recognize him. I'm just going to tell him right here, right now, I love you and appreciate you, brother. Matt, I appreciate this so much. It's very, very beautiful. And I said earlier, carving. Well, I've still got sick brain, so this is tooling. I'm pretty sure tooling is the correct word. This leather has been tooled into something very beautiful. Look at that corn stalk over there. That's a grist mill. Matt, hats off to you, brother. I appreciate it very much. I hope I didn't leave anybody out. If I did, I apologize. It was not intentional. I appreciate you. Uh, to the person that put together building this pot with Tim, I'd like to know who you are, but if not, that's okay too. But I want you to know I really appreciate you. That means a whole lot to me. I can't tell you. Thank you's not enough. This big pot, hopefully you're going to see this thing work and and uh, see what the worth of it is. And I just thank you so much. Thank you all for watching my channel. Thank you for all the gifts. There's been people that have helped in other ways. I really appreciate you too. I uh, hope y'all have a great weekend. I should have some more videos coming out this weekend, so keep your eyes peeled. I'll see you next time.